In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct an APOD using its three primary elements, income, operating expense, and debt service. We'll be looking at an APOD created with my real estate investment software for a fictitious property called ABC Apartments. To construct an APOD, the first thing to consider is the property's income. You want to start by showing the gross schedule income. This is the rental income that potentially would be collected if all the units were 100% occupied. Then you would subtract an amount for vacancy and credit loss. That would result in the effective gross income. Then to that you want to add any other income the property generates like income from coin-operated washers and dryers, for instance. That would result in the property's gross operating income, which is important because gross operating income represents the amount of money available to pay the bills. Next, you want to show the expenses required to operate the property, and you would list them here. Let me point out that these are the expenses Pro APOD includes as a default, but they can be changed in our forms. For example, if a property doesn't have a landscaping expense but has a pool maintenance expense, you simply change the label in the form and the APOD reflects it. Like so. The important thing is to show all the expenses an investor will need to pay to keep the property operational. In other words, what does it take to keep the income flowing in? You would then subtract that total from the gross operating income to show the net operating income. And this is very important because net operating income represents the amount of money remaining to service the debt. Finally, you want to show the total annual loan payment based on the proposed financing. In this case, we're only showing one loan for ABC Apartments without a second or third loan. But let's say there is a second loan. With Pro APOD, you simply enter the loan information in our form and it appears. Like that. And the total payment for both loans is shown down here. And that's really my point. Be sure that you show the total amount the investor will pay to service the debt regardless of how many loans are needed to finance the property. And then you would subtract that amount from net operating income and voila, you have the cash flow. For good measure, you should include the property name and address and maybe some additional information about the property as we do here. And you might want to include a summary of the financial measures and returns. This makes it very easy to evaluate the property and makes for a great APOD. You can construct an APOD with an Excel spreadsheet or you can let Pro APOD do it for you. Just don't neglect using an APOD for your rental property presentations. It really is a good report. Thank you for watching.